So Carly Russell just turned herself in because she's facing up to two years worth of charges because she faked her own disappearance. So let's get into this article by the Daily Mail. The Daily Mail is reporting that Carly Russell's grinned in her mugshot today after being arrested for faking her own abduction. Russell has been charged with two misdemeanor charges of filing a false report. She now faces up to two years in jail and a $12,000 in fines. She was released today from her bond for about $2,000. Now, ABC News is reporting that the arrest warrant was issued earlier today by the Hoover police chief. They stated that she did surrender and was accompanied by her attorney to the Hoover City Jail to face those two misdemeanor charges. Now, according to the police chief, her decisions that night created panic and harm to the citizens in their city and even across the nation as concerns grew that a kidnapper was on the loose using a small child as bait. The story opens wounds for families whose loved ones were really victims of kidnapping and some even helped organize the search. Now, the Alabama Attorney General Stephen Marshall stated that they fully intended on prosecuting this case and that the office is monitoring for potential other charges that she could face. You guys, please do not waste city resources to fake a disappearance, all in the attempt to get a man's attention. Because at the end of the day, this is just another form of pick -meism, and Carly didn't get picked. Now, I said I was done with the Carly situation because I gave my two cents yesterday, but the most disgusting part about it is it's really women and children out here fucking missing. Black people are already looked over in these type of instances. For you to go and lie and show that you truly don't give a fuck about the community was enough for me. The second most disgusting part of it all, bitch, you put Beyonce mommy in it. And you're supposed to be a fan. But you got Miss Tina worried sick while Beyonce and Blue Ivy on stage working their ass off. But that's not even what we're here to talk about. I have exclusive, exclusive text messages. I surely do. From Carly's other boyfriend. Oh, she is literally laughing at us right now. I got the messages, baby. You can't even lie no more. She's laughing at us right now because we think she's doing this over the guy I posted yesterday. This ain't even got nothing to do with him. Let me show you the messages. So this is what the first set of messages I got. And we'll have to take this step by step because y'all know I'm going to run out of time. So she sent this message to dude. She says, happy birthday. Blanked his name out for privacy reasons. Hope your day in this year is your best yet filled with every blessing you deserve. He says, thank you, Carly. Now, Carly takes it a step farther. She takes a picture of this girl, screenshots it. You know how that shit go. She says, who is this? Is this your girlfriend? So right now, you're already showing me right here just in this little bitty snippet. You're jealous hearted. Okay, but let's, let's go on. So then Carly goes on to say, but you're serious with this girl. I was waiting on you. If you were going to be serious with someone, it was supposed to be me. How do you not get that? Carly, you're narcissistic and you're a manipulator. I can tell you just off that little piece right there. How do you tell someone to wait for you and you get serious with someone else? Question mark, question mark, like WTF. You are a, a case, aren't you? You are really something serious. So he goes on to say, we're not even in a relationship. That's what you're missing. I knew I already got back with bruh. I just moved accordingly. So at this point, Carly had gone back with Tomar, Tamar, Mr. Mar, Mr. Sims, the dude I posted yesterday. Carly tells this man, okay then, stop talking to her and I'll break up with Tomar. I'm not, I can't make this up. I'll break up with Tomar and me and you can get serious. The guy says out of his mouth, don't do that man like that. He's a good dude, for real. I'm not going to even, I can't see the bottom part of the message because you know the little timer is covering it. I'm not going to even let you do him like that is what I assume it's say. So this is a message from the side piece, either from last night or this morning. He says, it's crazy how everybody think all that was over Tomar, but really, it was over him. This is too messy for me, babe. And Carly, you wrong. You, you're, you're disgusting. You're, you're, girl, you don't even know how you, Jesus. That was a lot. Anyway, let's continue this conversation down in the comment section. And as always, stay safe and be self-aware and subscribe for more snippets of wisdom and real talk. See you in the next video.